So uh, while I'm fixing this small thing here, uh, so it's your turn. Haven't rolled weather. Let's see if uh, potentially we're closing this out tonight. All right, so no change in weather. So rally time. Gonna rally these this officer first. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, he will lose his DM. I will use my self rally over here. So let's see. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> so I think that's it for me. So I'll be Alright, what do I have here? I have uh, one broken LMG, I think. So. Alright. This is the turn for LMGs to repair and then subsequently break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to do this first. I should do this before. Sorry. The reinforcements? Yeah. Yeah. No biggie. It's not going to change rallies or, uh, or repairs. Yeah, no worries. I'm not actually looking at them since I'm working on this other thing. There we go. No scenario, part number's proper. Alright, I think everyone's in position. Okay.
Machine gun unit in I-20 will fire at the concealed unit next to it. Okay. The six have doubled. Um, going to be six. And it's a TDM. Four, six six flat. Four flat. Yeah. Seven on six is uh, normal movement. Or normal, normal movement. Normal morale. And they pass. Right. Uh, the infantry gun will then fire at them. Okay. So I think just a minus two. Yeah, for point blank. a hit. Mm -hmm. so four on four is a one MC. Uh, they pass. Finally getting good numbers. Yeah, the sniper activated. It's alright. Apparently I did something to be more zen and, and get all this uh, these good rolls. Where's my sniper? Oh, that's right. Sniper four, one, two, three. So he's gonna pin uh, your guy in T twenty four. All right. Sanka and P16 will fire at P19. Okay. It's going to be four up one, I believe. Mm hmm. Six on four is a normal round. Oh my god. Heat of battle. Okay. Uh, there's something about uh, the. What's, what's uh, random.org use? Something like refractions in space or some crap. Uh, so heat of battle two Japanese get a plus four, so it's six. So they battle harden and get a hero. Jesus Christ! I know this is, this is wild. I, I'm uh, hero creation. Right. Oh, right, because I think they can't even... I forget, there's something about Japanese. I think they can't even generate leaders. Something weird like that. Uh, counters. Hero creation... So they're they're set. Well, lucky, lucky me. And I've only rolled under six so far. Or seven. Yeah, it's alright. All right, it'll, uh, this it'll change next. In here, we'll fire up at this guy. Okay. Range is nine. So seven, I think that's it. Uh, I'm actually curious to see. I just want to check to see if height advantage counts for two hits as well. Since I have no other, uh, is no it other TDM? TDM? Uh, any unit in a hex receiving direct fire from an oil elevation. Yeah, so it's a plus one uh, TM. Okay, yep, then TEM, that's the mod. Okay, so plus one. So I need a six or less. 
it. Oh, bugger. 11 on 12 is nothing. This is like just a miss. Not even great. Right. Eleven on twelve. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was I was just thinking like it was barely a PTC. The machine gun in S twenty four will fire at. Unit directly across the street in U23. Okay. So just a uh, four up one. Four up one, running out of units. Uh, the unit here in L24 will fire downstairs. Okay. 12 of 4. 12 of 4, yep. This is normal move. Over two. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can see it. I just don't know if I'm going to lose. See it there or not. Uh, is it good order or not? Uh, I think you'll lose it from U23. If, if you assault move, he's fine. Otherwise, you'll lose it to U23. Or there? Hmm. Okay. The Chaka will move. That is one. Okay. Two. Okay. Three, four. 
Okay. This is an assault move. Uh, okay. This is. Uh, do I have to move into the half hex, or am I in it? Uh, no, you have to move into the half hex. you. Alright, that's what kind of crap I can do here. Uh, I'll fire the the uh, defector direct fire OBA first. It'll be on the same target as before, so L23. So there's a minus two. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There's a minus two for acquisition. There's plus three for the building, and that is range... I think I'm pretty sure that's ahead. 17. So I need a 6. That's a 5. Yeah. All right. So then uh, Caliber, that's a 6. Also have rate of fire. But uh, Caliber is 6, so that's a 4 above 75 millimeter gun. That's about 12 firepower. Uh, yes. So six on twelve to MC. Hallelujah. Uh, since they have rate of fire, they will change their target and they will shoot at. Uh, let's shoot at um, an I twenty. Range is 8, plus 6, so 14. 14. No, I still need 6 or less. So it's a miss. Oops. There. So that shot. The squad in uh, H19 will shoot at the same target, so they're shooting at both the uh, squad and crew. <sighs> okay. So six, uh, five on six, one OC. Oh, I actually do the. Does that infantry gun? I think the infantry gun gives extra protection to your crew. It's just a thirty-seven, so yeah. But I think yeah, I think it has a gun shield. Oh, where's gun shield? 
shields. All 18 infantry guns have gun shields, which help protect our manic crew. Protects good order crew. Benefit if you're moving a gun on. Manic crew protected by. We add a plus two to IFD versus direct fire. Oh, gun shield DRM is never cumulative with that of positive D TM. Oh, okay, that's crap. So they get the plus three instead of uh, plus two. Uh, so it's the uh, yeah, it's still a this is what five one six I said one MC for a book. Four. Fortified stone building. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. So it's uh yeah, it's still a one MC, but yeah, it's six on on six instead. All right, this is an elite unit in a fortified building, so they are fanatic, just as an FYI. Okay. So the crew, which is not fanatic, break, and the other guys also break. All right, everything is. Thank you just a minute, if you don't mind. Yeah. This is a weird turn of events. Actually, I'm going to fix this real quick. Uh, stream, this will be muted for a sec. Apologies. What's my what's my stats so far? Average four point eleven. So dumb. On morale checks, my second dice has averaged a one. That is stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. Have we been. Have I not been playing that properly forever?
Sorry about that. My kids were calling to say goodnight. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I've just I've just been reading something right next to Gun Shields, and I think I gotta try to remember this for. Is it next game that we have for the one after? Probably the one after. Oh yeah, definitely the one after. Anyways, uh, yeah. Also, I was looking at my stats, and they're they're quite bullshit right now. It's all right, man. <laughs> it's okay. This this average second on my morale checks is one, so I ran, I rolled three ones in a row on that one. So dumb. Uh, it, it's cool. At this point, I'm kind of like, uh, okay, well, you know, I think you're gonna get into the buildings you want to get into. No yeah, worries. yeah. So, um, um, uh, yeah. Where were we? I'm sorry. Um, uh, as we just ended, so it's still defensive fire phase. Uh, Um, E26 and V25 will all shoot at T24, so it's a 16 firepower uh, up 4. So 9 on 16 is a 1 round check. Anybody else? Yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking. Uh, I'll do L23 ground to upper floor as a 6 up 3. Uh, 8 on 6. Uh, PTC, so they don't take it anyways. Um, where? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, L23, sorry. Oh. Um... That was really fairly pointless as those guys are going to surrender immediately and die so hey uh, you know if that they're they are at uh this is the black is the rojos bars in effect i guess technically it wouldn't matter because they would be ending adjacent anyways but whatever um that's so six uh sure um, this entire group is going to shoot at the um, the upper floor crew machine gun guy. Um, it's a uh, six six eight, so fourteen uh, up four. Okay. The infantry gun will continue shooting at R22. Six, down two, five, plus three, eight. I'm at range nine, which I think is just one over. Yeah, damn. Uh, is that a large target? No, damn. And no rate. Um, the HMGs will both shoot at uh, AA-15, so it's uh, 12 have to 6 with a plus 1. Uh, 8 on 6 is a PTC, so they'll drop concealment, but that's about it. Oh, uh, and I have rate. Alright, we'll shoot again. Uh, that's 9 on 12. Uh, normal morale check. And no rates. They had the wrong one, but success. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, those guys could route out. Uh, Berserker, MMG, normal MMG, and, and leader will shoot at uh, target uh, I 20. So it's a plus four, minus one, or plus five, sorry. 
Uh, minus one, so plus four. Eleven, no, there's no way. I'm not gonna bother with the follow-up shots. No, great. And that's it. Advance fire. Uh, the unit in AA-15 will fire there. Okay. Uh, it would be a one. Uh, one flat, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right. Uh, let's see. We'll start with this guy. Okay. And we'll route back into the fortified building. Mm -hmm. This guy surrenders and dies. That building for free. I'm a dumbass. I mean, it was, it's a lot more about the incredible rolls than anything else. You know, on the top level layer, we'll wrap it down. Okay. My guys just die, so. Into hand, I'm at one to two. Okay. Nice. 
spell. Three to two, and we'll the kids. Nine, no, just missed. Alright, moving along over here. Uh, we'll attack the 137. So that's a 2 to 1. Okay. I'm, I'm also at 2 to 1. Jesus. So oh, that's a kill for me. And I get a casualty reduction. So same. The LMG is unpossessed. Or both LMGs are unpossessed. And last, uh, let's see, I am at a 1 to 2, at a minus 1. Yeah, and I'm at a 2 to 1 with a plus 1. Jeez. Uh, 2 to 1, plus 1. So I uh, kill casual three target, three so other. double kill again. Jesus Christ. What a bloody friggin... I think that's all the CC. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Weather five, no change. Don't actually think you have any rallies or broken stuff. Mom, you do. Uh, I don't have any rallies or broken stuff, but I will try to get the LMG and L25. Five is just barely enough. Other than that, I think that's it. Well, we'll start with the leader over here. Uh, does not have a DM. I'm not sure why that's on him. The other units do, but he doesn't. Yep. Oh, nice. Rally. He has no mod for anybody else, um, but the, um, let's see, we'll start with the just top is bottom. He, um, is he a commissar? Nope. I don't think so anyway. I'm pretty sure 9-0s are automatically... Yeah, a 9-0 is a, always a commissar. But, so basically it just means... Oh, great, they... I my own trip, just like your, you did last turn. So, okay, the guys down here, casual reduce and die. Uh, so, what happens, no, 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 so they don't, look, um, so y you ignore DM, uh, so, okay, undo, there we go. Uh, so, you ignore DM, so the first, the crew will, will, uh, uh, rally, for sure. Now, they also heat a battle, which... Great. Um, you have a minus one for being in the building. You ignore DM, uh, and a commissar increases their morale by one. So the the squad comes back with uh, no problems. And I don't get anything out of the heat of battle because they're our crew. Uh, oh yeah. What do you know? No, I just leave it up. Yeah. Okay. Choose the squad here to try and self rally. And uh, which one? Because it's it's my it's turn my though. Turn. Oh, it's your turn. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Come on. So, there. In there. Uh, 
Oh, that's one of those people. Whatever. Okay. Right. Uh, cool. So, prep fire phase. I'm going for that guy. Hmm. I on it. Alright, I'm going to have my off-board OBA. I'll just, put, I'll just put on their bunker. I think I'll have better odds against that. Uh, 8. Range is 7, so 13. No. So I get the minus 1 against the bunker. That's it. Actually, I think technically I have to target the guys inside, and because they're concealed, I won't get to that anyways. So it's prepped. Um, Z16 is going to shoot at AA15, so it'll be a 12 up 1. Thankfully, I have a leader. Um, so, 5 on 12, so 2 MC, and your sniper. Uh, they have rate, so they will just shoot at uh, B15, or BB15, sorry. Uh, 8 on 12, uh, 1 MC. Uh, the infantry gun will continue shooting at R22. Uh, it's a plus three, plus one overall. I always forget what the range is. Nine. Still a miss. Goddamn. And no rate. I think that's it. Movement phase. That guy's gonna lose his CX. This guy loses CX. Cool. Um, Berserk guy has to move first, but I don't think there's anybody in LOS anymore. So I think he still has to charge the last known location. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay. Okay, so he has to charge at the last known location. Uh, if he doesn't see anybody at that point, then uh, he reverts back to normal. So his target was initially in I-20, so he goes to D D or sorry D-22 for two. Continues to E-22 
for three. Doesn't have to see XP's Berserk. Where's my counter? Why didn't I not bring it there? Um, gets into uh, F21 for five. Then into G21 for seven. Then when he gets to G21, he sees I22, so that becomes his new target. And goes to H21 for eight. Can you move him for a sec? Yep. Minefield? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right. So that's a four on eight. Two MC, which. Two MC, they can't pin, so they they pass. But they're essentially going to be. In a bad space there. And your sniper. And sniper. No effect. I don't want to do this. Get attacked again if he uses advance to get out of it. Yeah. Anytime you you um, you leave, uh, enter. And... Gotcha. I think the only exception is um, uh, if you have a vehicle go into a minefield. A minefield technically has to attack, and I, if I remember correctly, the vehicle like uh, like clears a lane. So if, uh, I think they, they call it trail break, if I remember correctly. So essentially the vehicle does trail break, it costs extra movement factors to even do in the first place, and then any subsequent unit uh, can can essentially avoid the uh, mines. Gotcha. But it doesn't apply. Um, God, I hate, I hate all my choices here. Um, the leader and the um, and the squad or half squad, I should say, are gonna dash into L twenty. Oops. All right, I don't think I actually have anything that can see you. Okay, so thanks to L twenty. Uh, the squad at the ground floor of L23 is going to move into L22 for two as regular movement. Okay, again, still can't see you. And then late CX is uh, to get over the wall for three, uh, five total. The leader and crew with the MMG are going to uh, normal move into D22 for two. All right. D22 for three. Okay. F21 for five. And F20 for six. Okay. Um, squad in M25 is going to declare dash into N23, moving along M24. So M24 and then N23. Uh, 
Alright, we'll fire at you when we get into that hex. Okay. Need to know what's in that doom stack. So it's going to be six leader directed. Um, uh, is, isn't it only half in the road? I guess no. I, I'm just I'm I'm just adding up the the stuff up. I get the doubling in a second here. So um, it's going to be three for the stone, down one for the leader, down one for non assault movement. Down one for non assault movement. So it's a plus one, and mm -hmm. yeah, I think it'd be twelve. I believe so. If you want to look that up, that's fine with me. Uh, in the road location, yeah. So 12 down or up one. Eight on 12, or I'm sorry, nine on 12 is an NMC. Oh, had to be. Thought you couldn't break. Yeah, you can, but only if you're uh, only at half squats. That's when uh, that's when Japanese get far uh, far less powerful. Actually, uh, let me double check something because I haven't used my ELR all game. Four. Okay, he's good. Okay, all right, it's gonna change for heroes. Cool. Um, my hero in P19 is going to go into Q20 for two. Ah, okay. Goes to Q21 for three. R21 for four. All right. And then pleasantly tries to bump into Q22 and we'll get pushed back for six. Conveniently exposing it. And if he dies, then I don't lose points. Okay. I'm gonna give you some camembert there because that's some cheesy shit. <laughs> uh, uh, P19 goes to P20 normal move for two.
continues to P21 for three. And why not? The infantry gun will slew around. All right. Not gonna hit you for shit, but you know. Anything. Acquisition is acquisition. So let's see. It's one hex. Um, I think it's an automatic plus three. No, it's an automatic plus six. Oh right, because you're in a uh, building. So it's plus six. Um, Non assault movement is minus one. Uh, point blank fire is minus two, so minus three. So it's only a plus three. We split rate. Well, it's not going to help them because you're just going to immediately advance into close combat and beat the shit out of them. So, you know. Well, you still have rate. And I'm pretty sure the. Uh, rotation VR is just for the the shot. The first shot doesn't apply for the second. That's like the one good thing about having high rate of fire guns. Uh, okay, well. So down two, up one for the terrain, I believe. Uh, so it's down, so, uh, no, it's, uh, down three. For the oh, wait, I don't think, sorry, I don't think you could, because I only yeah, spent that's one right. it's move intensive factor. fire. No, it's no, only, it's because I would have only spent one movement factor to get there. That's why. So you still have rate, and in defensive yeah, fire, fire, no, you can hold you it, hold, you, you don't put you don't, the uh, final fire on it. I don't have anything else to shoot on, so the rate's useless. Um, no, but you well, keep. Yeah, uh, you can keep rate to the next to a, a, a later phase. I think because I had to smooth the gun around, I think it counts as final fire. Oh, hmm, maybe case A to D right. Case A is only if the gun makes a chase and then fires the same phase. Right. Where's ready to fire? The multiple rate of fire of a non vehicular and non turret gun is lowered by one for its next shot in the purpose if it changes out okay yeah so you would have missed it all right uh w24 moves over a hedge to v24 for two Normal move. Three into U24. Come on into the building. And four into T23. Squad in U23, normal moves to T22 for two. Okay. Could I... No, I'm not going to bother. Um... And then continues to S23 for three. Well, we'll fire at you there. Why not? Okay. So, um, minus two point blank, normal movement. So that's a minus one, I believe. Uh, with the artillery gun, you mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's uh, non salt movement, open ground, so minus four. That's a hit. The 76 is 12 firepower. Ten on twelve is just a PTC. Hold on here, I'm just trying to I'm checking one thing here. Uh, Final two hit is less than half. Okay, so that was a critical hit with the uh, with the gun. So it's actually doubled. There's no there's no modifiers. Afterwards. afterwards so so yeah so instead of 12 is 24 uh is just a one mc then one mc and stripes so is that is the uh, residual off the base firepower or the crit firepower uh, i'm pretty sure residual is always off of the the highest number so, yeah. Um. Over in V23, the first line squad is going to declare dash to go into uh, T24. If it gets into T24, the unit on the bottom level will fire at it. Okay. So right, six uh, up yeah. two. Stone, isn't it? So three. Uh, but not assault move. Oh. All right, I assume the Elite's doing the same. Uh, I'll give you 10 seconds to think about a thing, and then I'll go. You say you need practice with it. Yeah, I can't remember, so it's all right. Oh, no worries. It's a little dash and go the same. I was uh, uh, took the road, then the up top's gonna fire him. Oh, okay. So that's going to be a four flat. Uh, two down two, because it's a uh, dash, so halved, but they still get the first fire on assault and open ground. So three on two. See. And stripes. Oh, actually, uh, your IFT. Uh oh, there's no rain. Okay. Uh, the Elite Squad in U26 moves to T25 as a normal move. Okay, the machine gun here will fire at you. Well, actually, no, they won't because they can't see it. Never mind. But they're okay. fired. Oh, you don't. 
Yeah, it's alright. I declared it. Go ahead. And it continues to S25 for two. You know, you will fire at you. Yep. Uh, six down one for Nanos. Five, five six. and six is a one MC. <laughs> Alright, so my, my trend has also come back. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm the Japanese, for God's sakes. Um, the stack individually will uh, assault move to U25s. First line guy goes, and then the elite guy. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I could, like, final fire guys, but it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, M26 to M25 for two. Okay. Three into M24. Okay. And four into O24. Yep, we'll fire it again. Okay. Be six. Um, six down three. Down three. Five on six. Five on six is a one MC. Uh, pass, but sniper. Um, second line squad in L25 declares CX for six movement factors. Goes to L26, M27, N27, O27 for four. P26 for five. I think here I'm playing Russian Roulette with another minefield, so... P25 for 6. I'll fire at you there. Okay. So it's gonna be... Uh, 4... Down 2? Down 1. Yeah, so intensive fire, so to still be so it's four down one. Yep. Yeah. I guess I should say like it's forget what's called that. Either way. So four down one, that's a two MC. And strips. And your sniper. Oh. Sniper and no sniper. You did technically get raid on that? Uh. Yes. But uh, they spent one to get in there, so. Uh, yep. Uh, H19 assault moves into I20. We'll fire at you. Okay. Um, yep. It's gonna be uh, eight. Up four. Uh, sixteen four. Yeah, sixteen up four. So ten on sixteen is a normal morale check. Just passes. Um, the hero in G24 goes to H23 for four. Continues into I23 for six. Okay. 
the squad with the LMG goes same thing. Put spends uh, has to go CX for six movement points and goes into I twenty three. The squad in I twenty two will fire them when we get into the house. Okay, so uh, four up two. This is going to be something of a Hail Mary, or at least whatever. Anyways, uh, so T17 goes CX, goes to S18 for one. Okay. Two. Yeah, I don't actually think I've ended it again. Oh, Fire. okay. So. Uh, three into S20, four into S21, and then six into R21. And that's it for moves. Twenty-four will fire at T twenty-four. It's gonna be a two up three. Okay. Eight, nothing. R24 is going to fire at S25. It's going to be a two up one. Uh, two flat. J19 will fire at I8 or I20. Okay. So eight, eight up four. I-22 will fire at I-23, so it's going to be a 2 up 3. Okay. That's it. Time for you to win. Not so fast. Um, Alright, let's see if I can do this fast. Uh, Berserkers will shoot at I-22. Um, that's a 2 firepower up 3. Uh, I-23 to I-22. That's also no nothing. Uh, I-20 to I uh, J-19, sorry. Uh, four, nope, that's a miss. It's eight on four. Um, O24 will take the bullshit shot at O23. Nope. Uh, P21 to Q22. Also nothing. Actually, that's a uh, four, that's a PTC. Plus three? Yeah. Alright, they pass. Uh, R21 shoots at R22. Um, I think it's gonna be a six up three, or a six up four, sorry. Nope. Um, everybody around S24 on the ground floor is going to fire group onto the ground floor of S24. So that's uh, 
2, 5, 8, 12, uh, 15, uh, up 4, 13 on 12, miss, I'm not going to bother covering him, uh, and P25 to Q25, that's another miss. I don't think I have any other shots. Route phase. Um, I have to route M23. I'm fairly certain they can go to M24 and then just straight into L23. Yeah, I think they're fine. So if I'm remember if I'm re looking at this correctly, I think both of the units here will surrender and die, or will basically die for failure to route. Uh, this guy can't route anywhere. So this guy also cannot route anywhere. He can't route here, but that would put him adjacent to this guy. So then he would have to route to here or here, which uh, are both closer to this guy whom he can see. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't sure about uh, about P twenty one. So yeah, they both. Yeah, sure. It's at the start of the route who we can see, so yeah. Yeah. He would have to route to here. That's the only kind of non-adjacent location. But then he immediately gets adjacent to this guy, so he has to reroute, and the only available hex is there. So that's a no-go. Yeah. I think that's it for my routes. Right. Let's see if advancing will uh, decide this. If Berserk's advance, I'm pretty sure they can. Oh no, wait, I can't. Damn. Alright, well, that sucks for those Berserk guys. Um. Advances. Uh, Z16 goes to Y16. AA18 goes to Z18. Loses uh, acquisition. Uh, since I can't get into ground floor S24, T3, T23 goes to T22. Uh, S23 goes to R22. R21 goes to R22. P21 goes to Q22. Uh, S25 goes to R24. Um, the non striped 447 goes, or 447, uh, in T24 goes to S25. The other squads go into T24. The CX squad in P25 goes into Q25. O24 goes to P24. Way too risky. Uh, F20 goes to G20. Uh, I23 goes to I22. And I don't think there's anything else. The Berserks are not required to advance? Uh, they can't. Uh, I, I forgot about that. So it says, um, uh, I think it's A15. Yeah, A15.431. Um, if Berserk Unit never qualifies for Assault Movement, even if its charge consists of just one hex, nor may it move in the advance phase, but it may dash across the road. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought they would have also been uh, allowed for that. I'm going to concede. Well, uh, 
I wouldn't if if I was. I'm in. fairly sure you could put enough firepower on that fortified hex to clear it out, or to at least break the guy, which is the exact same function because he'll immediately die for failing to route. Um, I mean, yes, I'm close on the casualties, but I don't know. I mean, I think you're pushing a little bit to to, to do that. I think you probably could clear it without going into quite all the the CC. Uh, so the um, the one issue is that uh, the the um, victory conditions. I know it says controlling either J19, Q25, or L22 and S24. Um, the one problem with that is that I still don't control either S24 or Q25. So regardless of anything else, uh, I I don't have either of those two buildings. And I need to control. Um, either, either one. Yeah, so, that's what I'm trying to say is that I can't really stop you from getting into S24 at this point. Yeah, but I'm at uh, my CVP it. losses are at minus 22. So if I lose three CVP, I I lose. <laughs> so. All right, well, let's play through the turn. We'll see. Um, so we'll just do left to right again. So uh, CC and I22 ambush roll. I get a plus one for CX, um, minus one for stealthy. So you, I think I, think I ambush. Yeah. Does a hero add anything to ambush? I've never bothered checking. I don't think it does. Anyways, um, so ambush, it automatically goes hand to hand. I have a five to two, so two to one. All right, so that's that's a kill there. I'm nervous, so I'm gonna go Q22 first. Um, it's a building, so ambush roll. No ambush. Uh, two to one. That'll be a kill for me, and a casualty reduction for you. R22, ambush roll. Alright. Let's ambush. Uh, three to one. Alright. Uh, let's do R24 first. Ambush again. Cease. Okay. Um, can I feel promotion as Japanese? I just forget. Oh, not a bit cool. Okay, so I, I don't get a leader. Cool. Uh, and lastly, Q25. Another ambush. This is a one turn. Uh, two to one, minus one. Okay. So, as I said, I concede. If I lose, but I if I lose anybody, like I guess the the only reason why I I think we should Strike. be going they don't help. They're not considered losses, right? Correct. But if I lose anybody at any point, then you don't have enough firepower left on the board to significantly crush damage. Have a three four seven that is sitting in a fortified building that you need to take. You have it surrounded on all sides at the moment, in addition to a medium machine gun that is on the upper level. So I am fairly certain you are going to be able to take it, given the fact that you can drop offboard artillery on it. 
to start with. Uh, they are sport artillery units. I don't know. In, 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 in any case, if you want to concede, we'll... Captured L-23 for you. It pinned that unit to the upper floor when I could have advanced it down into the fortified building which made that L bot arc take. Yeah, but the the only reason I'm not confident in it is that because I'm adding six, once you start getting to half the ward, the odds are low. But anyways, if, if you I can see... Uh, with the weight of fire that you have around that building and the fact that you just wiped out like half of my remaining firepower, essentially, yeah. Yeah. I don't see it happening. All right. Like at best, I could force a Pyrrhic victory by hitting the the CVP total, but. Uh... Um, all right, so victory conditions is I twenty, I twenty two. I think I only need two of those. Literally just need F twenty four, assuming that L twenty twenty three and. Uh... Uh, assuming that was your your target. Uh, unfortunately for me, my targets were uh, Q25 and uh, J19. So I only have I only have the if I picked uh, L22 S24, I still wouldn't have it. I'd still need to get S24. Well, that's the thing. I think S24 is doable, and honestly, you have enough coming up on J19 that it's going to be pretty easy, because I'm not going to be able to destroy Waji for my team, because I don't have the strength there. Um, uh, 16 firepower is, is nothing to scoff at, but... I haven't done anything yet! <laughs> yeah. I mean, on a plus four, yeah. It, but, yeah, this, this I is I didn't do anything game. when you were adjacent to me in the orchard, either! Yeah. So, I have a 37mm gun on top of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, it is what it is. I just, I think it'd be kind of a waste of time to play it out just because I don't think anything is going to happen. Right. Well, anyways, this was, this is a, this is a super tight scenario. Uh, yeah. You yeah, turn three losses. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's CC, uh, that row of CC bolts is... Well, I think you more than made up for it on this turn, CC, or last Yeah, turn. especially the start of this, uh, this session tonight, when it's like I'm just pulling twos out of my ass all over the, t all over the place, it was pretty crazy. Um, alright, so, uh, what do we got? Next one is the three-player game. We still don't have a, a third player, so I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to... Uh, ask the the ASL Discord if anybody wants to join in, since we have a more concrete time now instead of just saying like yeah two maybe in two weeks maybe in three weeks or whatever. Um, and if uh, if we don't get anybody, then I mean we don't get anybody, um, and we'll just have to figure out how we want to play the third player. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm down. Um, are we off next week? I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh no no! Uh, I'm I'm still uh, still up to do stuff next week. If you are, okay. So, um, if you have a preference on which side you want to pick, because we do have the partisans, which we've already seen are kind of annoying, and they have com uh, commissars, so um, something to keep in mind. Uh, then there's the mouth of madness. Yeah, yeah, in the mouth of madness. Um, then there's the SRP, which I think are kind of the mildest of the, the choices from what I remember from the special rules. And then there's the Red Army. So if you have a preference, let me know. Um, oh my god, the SRP is just... wow! Yeah. They have no non-green units. No non-green units, but 70 CVs. <laughs> Just, wow. Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, just because it'll, I think it'll help visualize a lot better. I'm just gonna pull up the map right now because I want to see. Um, I want to see. Uh, um, where their setups are supposed to be. So this would be board BFPA. 
is So, like the Bolshevik partisans are on the west side. The SRP is on the east side. And the Red Army is in the middle. Yeah, it's one of those crazy, like, everybody's fighting against everybody. It's it's the, um, honestly, I've, uh, to me, it's the appeal of, um, of three-player scenarios where, like, you can just backstab people whenever you, whenever it, it uh, suits you. Um, you might have to re to see the map. Um, so... All right, so set up the west are on hex road M. Where's north? So oops. wow, so the Bolsheviks or the Red Army is in like that tight little middle section. Between N and T, then the SRP is U east. Yeah, east of U. So, label, there you go. So basically, it's the Bolsheviks and the SRP gangbanging the Red Army. Yeah, so how it works is, uh, let's put green. There. All right, so the victory conditions, only one group wins by claiming a victory, the lowest number of victory condition at game ends. So one, two, three, four, five, lowest is one. That's how I, I understand it. Um, solely occupying building Q3. So I'll just put a DM counter. So if any one group controls this entire building, They win if they well, have two. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because how it how it works is. Um, oh, I'm saying it. No, no. I, I was misreading that. I, I was thinking it was literally hex Q3, but it's the whole building. Okay. Yeah. So you can control it uncontested. You can have more, at least two, as long as you have more than two squads, then the other groups combined, um, you're okay. Yeah, more, more than two more squads, than... or two or more than. And everybody else. So essentially, everybody is fighting for the Q building. It just gets sure in four. Does I understand the good order or half squad equivalents? Then both other groups combined less than or equal to one hex of building Q three. What does that? Mean? Uh. Oh, so if you have, um, so essentially, if you just like dogpile ten squads into one hex, and you happen to have more squads that are good order and armed in a single hex of building Q three is basically what it means. So like. If you just have like this massive stack, like an S4, and uh, say there's only this many guys elsewhere, actually, you know what? We'll just do this, right? So, uh, pretend the the partisans are up top and whatever other group are on bottom. So since you would have more half squads in S4 than everybody else combined in this one hex, uh, that's that would be a win condition. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like you could like fortify quote unquote uh, a hex by just like dumping a, a shit ton of men in there. Not that it's uh, super helpful, but. Yeah, what's the special rules too? Special rules, there's a shitload of them. Well, a bunch of them are like how to deal with the fact that you have multiple, you have three players. Yeah, usually how it works is is um, there was a. I'd have to look into 
my stuff. Because I, I, I know there was an official product released by MMP that featured a three-player game, and I think they had a chart for it, which so it made it like that much nicer. Um, and it's one of those, like, uh, if player A moves, you know, let's say, you know, this has squad in L3 or U3 moves to T3. Okay, does player 2 want to shoot? No. Does player 3 want to shoot? No. Then, etc. Then when it goes into defensive fire, it's the, you know, player 2's defensive fire first, so they get to do all their shots, and then player 3's shots uh, happen afterwards. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, there's a, the only other wackiness is units in Q3 ignore units outside the building for routing purposes. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Otherwise, like, I'm sure Q3 would just be a mess for... Uh, yeah, you rats, guys right? routing in and out all the time, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can get multiple sniper activations. Yes, that's one of the bigger ones, too. Like once, if if people have hot sniper dice, it's it gets crazy. We're actually been changing our sniper number, have we? Uh, what is the sniper numbers? Sand five, sand three, and sand four. Oh, okay. So at least there's no like there won't be two snipers at the same time. But well, that's the thing. They can. I think we actually are supposed to be changing our sniper number. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Uh, the only time you change a sniper number is if um, by SSR or uh, if you attack the sniper in retaliation. But generally speaking, attacking a sniper is very hard. You can also have, I think, your sniper target a sniper, but only if he lands on it? Or I might be wrong, I might just be able to, to target it regardless. So yeah, so that's the one. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, sniper. Yeah, enemy sniper can be attacked on by a sniper check. Or if it's sniper counter is targeted by an enemy sniper. Is this is this set into the rubble? Uh what's uh sorry, I missed that. Hold on, so it's uh SR, uh, SSR 4 or BFPA is a bounding fire production board and all into the rubble rules apply so yeah right so I'll have to um, I have the uh, the module so I'll have to, to send you the rules for that as well let's see oh boy simultaneous and secret setup <laughs> I mean that shouldn't be a problem because we could just like hit all of our stuff if need be and then just reveal it uh, at the appropriate time. What is MOL? Uh, Molotovs. Oh, joy. So Molotovs, actually Molotovs is super fun, but I always forget it, which is annoying. Uh, when I was playing my Stalingrad solo thing, I just like, I blanked on Molotovs so many times. Um, essentially, you can only do Molotovs on a, as a point-blank fire, so if, if anytime anybody gets adjacent, you essentially want to, to claim Molotov, because you add, I think it's, yeah, it's a, uh, the Molotov for firepower bonus is always added after any modification. So, you know, uh, a four firepower squad suddenly becomes 12, because it's doubled and then plus four on the IFT. The only problem is that, uh, um, if you roll a six, I think you, uh, is it you break it or I think it's pin. Where is it? Uh, one to three uh, to use it. Um, plus one if it's half squad crew, plus two if it's an SMC. Uh, oh, nothing oh, bad no. happens if you get it, I guess. It's, um, yeah, it just counts as, as support weapon use. But uh, there are several possible consequences to a Molotov attack. If the original colored die of the IFT dice roll is a 6, the unit using the Molotov is broken. Uh, and both the firepower of the unit and the Molotov is contributed to the attack uh, are voided. And a flame is placed in the thrower's location. 
the breaking of the unit does not void its fire group. Um, if the original colored dice roll of the IFT DR is a 1, a flame is placed in the target location. <laughs> so. Yeah, so we got sewer <laughs> movement, we got. Uh, you cannot kindle. Um, no, no, that's the Molotov's job. Well, yeah, kindling is, is in a. All the buildings are wooden. Uh, there's a ground level, there are ground level railroads. <sighs> Bugger. Um, there's there's a couple open uh, open ground stuff that that would have to get placed. Um, although I think it's Q six P six, so these are open ground I think, and then O seven. Yeah, so it's essentially this entire row uh, is gone. So it's a little bit more open water, ground than there. Water artillery pieces that are hanging out in Sangers. <laughs> O seven P nine Q six and R nine. P nine. Yeah, so O seven Q six P nine and R seven. R nine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those are some moderately useless guns yeah i i, I can those only imagine that. Be helpful, but those two seem like they're kind of like yeah, okay <laughs> actually what is uh where's the overlay stuff i want to see what overlays those are overlays. there we go oh and hey you have to you have to roll for uh for oh they're archers all right are they archers or open ground Oji, yeah. Two. Oh, they get into Sangars. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's not as bad. Yeah, but there's nobody in them. They're unpossessed. They're just hanging out until somebody runs into them. <laughs> like their setup is random. Like they're the the. <laughs> Red Army player picks which gun goes in which Sanger, but yeah. then there's CA and everything is random. I mean, at least you get the, at least you have four uh, that you start with uh, that you can place however you want, and then on top of that, like you've got the crews or other stuff. Actually, no, not even. They're just they just exist. Well, yeah, you, you have more, so it's more so it's like for, so yeah. So essentially, it's it's a uh, man. So the SRP has three crews and one as a as like a backup or reinforcements, but they don't have any large support weapons. So it's it kind of implies that like you want to send those crew guys. Same thing with the um, Bolsheviks both sides get four uh, crews and there's four guns that are unpossessed that's kind of funny yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty chaotic <laughs> all right so i'll see um i'll try to get a, a uh, hopefully get a response by i want to say tuesday just so we have enough time to to all you know be able to set up and, and get stuff going um yeah i mean if you want we can actually do the choosing groups like i don't particularly care who i play so i'm, I'm more than willing to actually do the like bidding for groups essentially oh yeah sure uh balance bound harden bound harden one at start or reinforcement leader oh okay okay yeah we can do a, a bidding system at, at worst I'll, I'll see what, if, um, yeah, I mean, if someone wants to play something that's great you know no, no worries there um i'll yeah. pick one of the others but uh yeah if, if nobody has a choice then, yeah I'm, I'm up for that as well or we can do it completely randomly as, as well that also works cool all right so i'm being more decisive there but it's gonna like it's they're all crap so it's gonna be <laughs> no, that's fine all right so i'll see you uh i'll, I'll let you know during the week and uh, i'll see you on friday all right, okay. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. Cheers.
And what a what a session. I, st I still think we should have kept going, but uh, you know, it's uh, not the end of the world. Um, this is gonna be crazy. I don't know how how this one's gonna this one's gonna play it. Especially considering it's how many how many squads do we have? Fifteen, thirteen, ten. So 15, 13, 10, and yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot of stuff to go wrong. I didn't count reinforcements, so I guess technically it's 17, 15, 12? Yeah. Hmm, that's crazy. This will be, this is definitely a scenario where you want to figure out your firing lanes and all that other stuff also five turns so very quick or relatively quick but three players is going to kind of make it long um in any case thanks for watching everybody um if anybody watching this is interested and uh wants to get in touch with me on discord before uh we'll put it 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 1st of June. Please let me know. Uh, that way we can uh, we can get everybody set up for this. Otherwise, uh, I guess we'll just have to uh, uh, hope that we can find somebody else or somebody on the uh, ASL Discord. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.